The summer of scam continues with four color Omni Scam. Let's go. Welcome to the Attic Manadad here. This is the channel where we explore what is fun in magic, mostly on arena. And right now it's the summer of scam. Everybody's scamming. The scam elementals have come in with Modern Horizons 3. We got other new Modern Horizons 3 cards. Uh, well, they're not from Modern Horizons 3, but Prismatic Ending, for example. New cards coming in with Modern Horizons 3. And uh, the format is crazy right now. So uh, this we're talking timeless, okay? This is not your mother's modern Omnath Locus of Creation elemental scam deck this is timeless scam all right we can run to fairy we can run vadrak apex of thunder i'll talk about that in a second but what let's get into this if you have seen a four color scam deck all i'm going to say is you haven't probably seen it like this and um so stick around to watch how it plays out and at the very end, we'll go through, there's probably about a bajillion ways to build this deck. And at the end of the video, I'll talk through the win rate. I'll talk about the card choices a little bit more. And uh, we'll we'll see, um, you know, some, we'll discuss some ideas of how other ways to build it. And see, uh, once we've seen how it performs. But first things first, here's our starting line. Here's what we're starting with. Okay, we got Omnath, Locus of Creation, banned in some formats, but not this one. It enters, it's going to draw a card. Whenever you landfall, you're getting, first time, going to gain four life. Second time, going to add an Omnath's worth of mana. Third time, it's going to deal four damage to each opponent and Planeswalker you don't control. Okay, so a little board wipe. Um, well, a little Planeswalker board wipe and a little uh, bonus, I guess it's not a bolt. It's uh, whatever, a four mana <laughs> uh, thing. But the point is, to cast these, most of the time we're going to be pitching Omnath, right? It's all the colors. So these elementals have Evoke, Exile, a card matching their color um, to put them into play. And then they die. Or maybe they don't because we're going to ramp up some serious mana and then just going to be able to hard cast them and double up their traders with Elish Dorn, Mother of the Machines. This was in one of the lists that I was referencing to build this. So that's kind of fun. Uh, how are we going to draw a bajillion cards by playing, uh, you know, we're going to put us down on cards. So we got to draw cards. So we need stuff like Risen Reef. Of course, these are all elementals, as is Vadrock. More on that later. <laughs> Risen Reef. Uh, whenever another elemental enters, we look at the top card. If it's a land, it goes onto the battlefield tapped. And if we don't put it onto the battlefield, we put it into our hand. Uh, you know, it's kind of like Nadu, <laughs> but, you know, with an elementals trigger. We also got four up the beanstalks, okay? So two out of the three elementals that we're playing here, Solitude and Fury, are five mana. Prismatic Ending can easily be five mana. Leyline Binding is six mana on the stack, even if we're not paying six mana pretty much ever. And Elish Norn's five mana. So we got that going for us. We've also, for extra landfall triggers, have Nissa Resurgent Animist. And of course... To fairy time revel reno is just annoying and is going to mess with stuff a couple lightning bolts either to just do that last bit of damage to opponent or to clean up early attackers get those ragavans and such and a one ring of course just to protect ourselves ley lines of sanctity is going to run three for now of course you can keep them in the sideboard if you like but there's just so many people grief scamming it's nice to just lay line early on, and of course it shuts down more than the Rakto scam decks, uh, and well, all scam decks. Uh, it shuts down a lot of decks in the format. Okay, so Vadrock, um, I was just looking for something else that could pitch to all these. We were maxed out on Omnath, so I was looking for something else that could pitch to all these elementals. This is 3-3 three, three, Mutate Flying First Strike. Whenever it mutates, you can cast target non-creature card with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So we can get back to Fairy or Lightning Bolt or Prismatic Ending as long as we don't put more than 2 mana into it. Or I guess X equals 2 mana into it. But we're not really that interested in Badrock. If we're playing this, we're already way ahead. Uh, because we didn't need it. Mostly we're just going to try to win with stuff like Fury. Solitude's going to keep the board clear. This, of course, is pretty much the all-star. It's 3-2, light, Flash Lifelink. It's um, Source of Plowshares, essentially, on a creature. Subtlety is nice as a little backup. Just puts a spell back on top or bottom of the library or a creature. Um, so Subtlety is nice 
uh, just to get us out of a jam for one turn because all this deck really needs is one turn to pop off, as hopefully you'll see. In the mana base, Flooded Strand, Windswept Heath, Wooded Foothills, you all know these, but we do have uh, the rest of the fetch lands now in the format, including Misty Rainforest. We've got one Triome in the deck. We've got um, Elegant Parlor and Hedge Mage as our surveil lands that we can fetch. Um, you definitely want a lot of lands in this deck, so it should be interesting. We're going to see if I've struck the right balance. I've done some testing. It seems to work pretty well in my testing, but of course, that's no guarantee once I hit record. So anyways, thanks to everyone who has been interacting with the YouTube algorithm. YouTube algorithm hates me right now. And um, so, you know, those of you who are doing the comments, the thumbs up, watching the other videos, subscribing if you're not subscribed already. I really appreciate that. And uh, that is what's keeping me around. And uh, you're who I'm making these videos for. So I appreciate you. Let's go, my appreciated audience. Let's go see this Omni Scam deck in action. Four color elementals. Omnath, pitch elementals. It's a pitch deck, it's a pitch deck. Oof. Not super fan of the mana here. Opponent is going first. Got a little bit of protection with Solitude. We can surveil with Elegant Parlor. It's a risky keep. It's a risky, risky keep. I think that we need we need to call forth our risky meme. There should be no risk management. Study risk taking, not risk management. Risky business. Prismatic ending, you would be good. Well, their opponent's deck could just be all one drops. I feel like we need to draw lands. Two for one ourselves here. To kill a one drop. Doesn't feel good, but Ragavan is that good. When it follows up with nothing. Nada. Okay, and now Leyline Binding is at least getting closer. With our island. Pass the turn. Need to fetch land. Fetch land would fix all our mana issues. Another Ragavan, okay. So, um. Guess we're just. <laughs> just two for one against Ragavan. How many, how many Ragavans do we think they have? Misty Rainforest, perfection. Let's activate, what do we need, green and a green white, I guess we'll just do green blue, oh, but untapped one please. Prison Reef, okay. there's our one and only black source, our one and only swamp. We need full domain. We have it. Okay, swords to plowshares. Okay. And, uh, huh. well, we could hard cast Fury, but we don't have any targets for it. For one ring. Activate, see what we draw. It's a ley line of sanctity. Pass the turn. Opponent over there, Oboshin about. Elegant Parlor. They put a fury down, so maybe they are a red white element deck. Could be. Quite interesting. Draw again. We miss that, okay. So.
fetch lands going. Uh, what do we want to add? Uh, well, let's say I think we get subtlety. Crack. They're gonna kill Nissa. Oh. Um, let me just preserve my life total here. The ley line sanctity. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Now we have something we can hit with subtlety. Uh, or we could just play Teferi. Well, let's see what There's a subtlety. Ooh, up the Beanstalk, okay. Well, then, gonna do some hand sculpting. Maybe look for some mana. I like our mana situation. We are going to be taking some serious damage from the one ring if we can't close out this game pretty fast. Guess there's always the Teferi bounce your own one ring play. Ooh, they got Flage in the graveyard. And Blood Moon. Okay, well... I think we've got most of our... We've got all of our... Um... Ooh, up to the beanstalk. All our basics are in play. This time, the Blood Moon is good for us. It cuts them off from their flage. Um, so if I bean stock, I should plus the fairy. And no, I am not making this up as I go. Play this. And Elish Norn. Uh, even more cards. Faster. They flip the reflection of Kikijiki. They're gonna go Fury, okay. Take out to Fairy. Oh, it doesn't even trigger. <laughs> Sorry, opponent. Nice try. Fury. Still doesn't trigger. We go to seven. Plus. Here goes nothing. Um. I mean, how much do we want to draw? <laughs> Twenty-nine cards in library will be fine. Hard cast this fury. Draw three cards. Take out one of your furies. Um, but the solitude cast with leyline of sanctity. Draw an opponent. They've seen enough. Yeah, you bet. You bet your sweet bippy. Maybe you should have two planes in this deck just to be able to hard cast Solitude through a Blood Moon. 
Although we won it there. We won that Blood Moon. Okay, playing some four color scam. We've got Solitude and Leyline Binding and Leyline of Sanctity. Let's see if we play Leyline of Sanctity, are we just going to get a scoop? That's always the question. Opponent, so you keep in your hand. Cabzizi. Cabzizi is keeping. Oh, yes, no, we want to submit that. Thank you. They put down, okay, so they might be affinity. Um, that's the turn. We'll go get a triome, most likely off of this. Spring the leaf a drum, sure. And another spring leaf a drum, sure. And no affinity. Things yet. Affinity is a deck I definitely want to do a video for. Excited to see how Affinity is with all the new cards. Hey, we got an Omnath. Okay. Well, we could play a Windswept Heath and have Leyline Binding potentially held up. Or, no, we don't get anything off of Elegant Parlor with that. Yeah. Let's just pass the turn. with four cards in hand, three cards in hand. Kozilex Unsealing, sure. There's a cast trigger. I think we're just going to remove that. Can't let them draw three cards. Thank you very much. Uh, if we Hedge Mage, that should be enough to do Leyline for one mana. And... Uh, island, uh, we don't need you, Island. Let's take that out with Extreme Prejudice, thank you. And we'll play the Elegant Parlor if my mouse will cooperate. Uh, no, I don't need the third Omnath, I don't think. And we should be able just to cast an Omnath. Moon Snare prototype. The opponent is ramping. I think what we need is card draw. So I think we'll wait a turn on Omnath. We'll just do one ring. They might have a uh, counter spell, which would be sad, but. My hand is down to one card. Metallic Rebukes, yeah. There's their 7 mana artifact. Just a 4-4. Four, four. Just a 4-4! Four, four. We can play one of those, no problem. We'll play the Omnath before we play the... events. Oh, and a Mirror Enforcer, okay. Two 4-4s. Four, but they didn't get the value off the Kozilex Unsealing. Um, we're, we're not going to get the value off Solitude just yet. So, let's play Omnath. Uh, what? I can't... Can't play it without the Steam Vents? Maybe I just hard cast the Solitude at this point, then. Opponent draws what? No blocks, go to 12. Could be a counter spell, which would be annoying. Lightning bolt. Um. Okay. 
No counter spell. That went right through. Up to the beanstalk. You're a little late. Back in for three. Go back to 15. What goes to 21? Simulacrum synthesizer. You get to scry two. Good card. Whenever another artifact with mana value three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, create a zero zero colorless construct artifact creature token. So we would love to be able to remove that sim synthesizer before they get value out of it. They don't even attack into Omnath. Huh. Well. We can beanstalk our card. It's a fury, it's a fury, everyone. Um What do we think? I mean this will draw us a card. Yeah, I think we'll just just evoke it. Maybe we'll get rid of their enforcer. Attack for seven. We go to 18. We potentially got subtlety. Well, this is a cast trigger? No. Has to enter the battlefield. Opponent. Passes. Plays a land. Considering playing whatever is in their hand. Yeah, it's a moon snare. Okay. Probably just sort of save that for the bounce ability. You know, what do I know? Um, smack in for another seven. One turn clock here. Guess we'll go with a Nissa. Nissa. You got opponent. Nothing. And Omni Omni scam win. Alright. Point point of vocabulary. Do you actually call it scamming? Is is it is the scam when you like bring the elemental back into play when it was evoked? Is that where the scam lies, or is this the scam just like getting value out of these free spells? Because if that counts as a scam, then this deck is definitely a scam deck. We've got the ability to scam Fury. We can probably wait until we get a Beanstalk down. I'm all for it. Let's go. Opponent, with, out of the gate with a Gilded Goose. They're rampant. We got a Teferi Time Ravelrino. And I do need to get my mouse fixed because, um, yeah, sometimes I click and stuff happens. I'm going to try to wait until... See what they do with their goose. We'll get four damage with the fury, so hopefully they play something with two or less toughness. There's no guarantee here. It's a Heliod. Okay. Well. Let's crack this. I think we'll get white and green. Be led by. I do have it. Temple Garden, yes. Pay two life. We'll be in Stoke. And then the question is Do I Fury now or Fury later? Do we, do we wait and see? Um, see what they're up to? I'm going to do that. I want to evoke you. There you go. Then we just have another fairy. I'll play that next turn. The 
Take out the goose. Goose has already done its job, though. Maybe that was the wrong call. Scary oak. Okay. Well, we can Teferi bounce here. Wood, but he'll just crack it. Just go find the uh, forest. Yeah. Slow him down. So the Scurry Oak combo deck, for sure. And we might just hard cast Omnath. Although it's better to cast it when we have a uh, fetch land we can crack. What surveils with the Portico? Scurries the Oak once more. No, I'm going to draw planes. So the question is, okay, we definitely held off the Fury too soon. They're one combo piece away. I've got time. I think we just want to Teferi once again. Bounce it. I know my responsibility. Them slow. Okay, we got solitude now, and that's flash. So, feeling good, feeling good. We got Lunark Veteran, sure, and Scurry Oak on the stack. Um, so, that's. I guess we're just gonna have to. Evoke here. Let's lay line sanctity. Draw a card. Exile the Lunark veteran. You can have a life. Put a plus one plus one counter on Heliod if you care to. Oak is in play. Oh cool, cool. Subtlety. Um So now we can cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Um, we do have subtlety protection. So I think I'll up the beanstalk here. If they try to play another combo piece. We'll subtlety it. Opponent. Rosy Cotton. Yeah, so uh, that's another combo piece. We must evoke. Sorry, Omnath. Rosie back on their library. And then next turn we just hard cast Fury. We do hit to Fairy for one. Sadly. Oh, there's Elish Norn. Oh, bad clicks. Hard casting the fury. Draw two cards. Hope they don't have a scurry oak in hand. Uh, let's take out the oak. The mighty oak. Good thing they didn't have protection there. And we have Vadrock. Used to recast it to fairy if we had to.
opponent. Okay, Scurry Oak is back. So we need to find some more scam. Do we just mother of machines to draw? I think we do, right? Because between Vadrock and Risen Reef, hopefully we can draw out of this. Oh, okay, nice. So, um, play Wooded Foothills. Go find a red source. Oh, we don't get an untapped red source, eh? That's unfortunate. This might be a bad idea. Can this get an untapped red source? No. But opponent scoops it up anyway. Whew, okay. Oop against Barry Vulgar. Hmm. I'm glad I'm not playing somebody named Barry Vulgar in person. Glad the emotes uh, are limited in this game against Barry Vulgar. Opponent is going first. No ley line. Got our draw engine online though. Prismatic ending should help here too. Guide of Souls. Okay. It's a super good value card. Just crack. Well, actually, hmm. We could prismatic ending that guide of souls. I think that's good. I'm just going to be Beanstalk in a Risen Reef thing. Oh, there you go, right now. Okay. Boros Aggro, it looks like. Boros Energy Aggro. It's another deck I want to make videos of. I want to play around with. Experiment. Um, yeah, let's go green-blue. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be so cavalier with our life here. Down to 12 already. Ragavan. Need that solitude. We do. Hit Omnath. They cannot cast. They can cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. taking us to Value Town. A Ley Line. Um, yeah, I think we Ley Line that Ragavan when it comes down. Fast turn. Ditch the Galvanic Discharge. Huh, so they're not coming down with the Ragavan. Guess we'll ley line what? Do we ley line the Fable? We'll worry about that in a second. We'll just take this guy out. Uh, 
Hard cast Dragon Man. Guide of Souls. Okay. Crack this foothills. Go get a surveil land. Pretty sure I want the mana next turn. Bad rock. I mean, a three-three first strike. If they've ditched all their removal, it's actually legit. <laughs> uh, but no, we, I think we need a fury. We need to start two for wanting them if we can. Playline of Sanctity. Not super helpful. We will get off the Risen Reef. I'm trying to wonder if I have enough elementals in here. Okay, so we can't. Hardcast the Fury. We can next turn. We do have to put the Risen Reef in front of the Ragaman. Yeah, the Galv Galvanic Discharge. Fable flips. More energy. They hit us for three. One more. Four, three. Hit this for five. We go to four. I crack this. Might be the last fetch land I can crack here. Get that elegant parlor going. Omnath, perfect, okay. Oh wait, they took that. Now they can cast Omnath if they want. Or maybe they're, are they out of energy? Their ether hub is a lowly colorless land. A Johnny, oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Find me a basic. All right, so, I have to deal three there. <laughs> um, Yes, flip this into a walker. Like all I can do. I think I'm still dead. They attack with all. A plus one, plus one counter on each cat. That's not a cat. That's not a cat. Now they got the energy though. And they just zap us. Okay. Got a little behind on that one. Format has been really varied. It's been fun to see what people are brewing with the new MH3 cards. Played against energy deck and Affinity, all kinds of fun stuff. Stuff that I hope to make videos of soon. But right now, I spent all my wild cards, all my mythic wild cards on these elementals. We're going first. We only got two lands. We can crack the Misty, though, and hopefully find... Something. 
Maybe we'll do a surveil land and surveil for uh, one more. One more land, I think. Three lands would be good. Omnath is okay. But. I'm just giving a lot of information to the opponent. We don't know what they're playing. They know a lot about us. Wooded Foothills. Okay, opponent being wise. Not necessarily revealing the info. We'll also wait on the Wooded Foothills. They go get what? Triome? Raugren Triome. Queen Sweat Peeth. Could be a mirror match here. Could be a mirror match. Let's go get a Triome of our own. The Savai. Now we have all five basic land types. And we'll make the first move to ferry. What say you, opponent? J Fries, if that is your real name. Plus that to Fairy. That's more like it. Last turn. It cracks fetch. Triumph. They're five color something over there. But what? Shocks in a Temple Garden. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. They're all about the value. It's fine. I think we'll just lightning bolt that guy. Maybe we could bounce that guy. Get a windswept heath. Bounce it first and see what we draw. It's another one. So you think that. Uh, let's go do some more surveilling with an elegant parlor. Uh, now we'll be happy to keep the Omnath. Drop an Omnath, Windswept Heath, crack it. I like where that's headed. We need some draw. I guess Omnath draws a card, though. Fable. Going to shape their hand. You can definitely run Fable in this deck. Especially if you're going for more of the Fury, more heavy on the Fury build, which might be good if these little aggro weenie decks start taking over the format. Windswept Heath cracks it. Goes and gets. What? What you get an opponent? Coming around. Minsk and Boo. Holy camole. So, do I Solitude the hamster? Do I have to pitch a Ley Line? I think we're just going to go down a ton of cards, though.
coming after Teferi. They are. Not my Teferi. On that, draw a card, windswept peak. Life, bracket, go get planes, make a bunch of mana. Now we could solitude. We'll just take out mints and do. Plus to fairy. I've got it. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Flips into Kiki Jiki. Kiker Jeeks. Or it's going to ley line binding something. Is it Omnath or Teferi? Oh, they're going to ley line the ley line. Sure. Another thrilling adventure. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> we have got All right, let's. Hmm. I think we just stop the attack with Omnath. He will never rinse. Hold on to solitude. Could be wrong about that. They're gonna solitude our bomb now. Okay. Well, I won't be able to draw a card off to fairy, so well, solitude. Maybe that was incorrect. Really putting us down on cards. Should have gotten red mana held up there. It, uh, if I had foreseen Minsk and Boo coming back. Now, Minsk and Boo could be run in this deck very easily. Plus to fairy. Don't worry. I got you. Hardcast Fury. Take out Minskimbu. What? And do I take out reflections of Kiki Jiki? Maybe I do. Alright, they have two cards in hand. We got control of the board. You need to start drawing our way out of this jam here. It's jammy jam jam. Opponent. What you gonna play? All is in your court, opponent. Okay, here's, we asked for card draw, we got it. Perfect. I think we're fine to race here. I want to crack back with the Fury, one ring's going to stop it anyway.
up the beanstalk. They've got the beanstalk first. They got a brand new pair of beanstalks. Oh, they got Teferi. Bounce my one ring, please. Bounce my leyline binding. I love that. Leyline sanctity. What do we got? Ooh, Risen Reef. Can we Risen Reef? Omnath. Uh, it's a bit of a risk. Let's see. Do we hit a land? We do not. Out there to fairy. The question is, should we take out their beanstalk? I'm kind of inclined to think we should. Keep them out of this game. We must have the card draw. One ring to rule them all. Mirror match. Fury! Here goes my Risen Reef. The 19. But then we can... I guess we should see what we draw first. Lots of lands. Okay, up the Beanstalk. Does that help? Math draw. Beanstalk draw. Too many. Save this crack. We can't do anything with the four mana. Oh, opponent scooped it. They saw the value train bearing down on them. They couldn't, they couldn't stop it. Summer of Scam! What do we think of it? How did it do? 57% win rate, 100% on the play, 50% on the draw. So, I mean, it's a fast format. <laughs> you really want to be on the play. We beat one out of three of the Boros decks we were up against. Um, lost to a blue-black control deck. Otherwise, um, won the mirror match here. So, that was pretty good. Pretty decent performance. I think probably this is about a 60% win rate deck in the current meta based on my overall testing. Played about an hour here. Uh, the prismatic endings, they were fine. We didn't really get to go off with up the beanstalk with those, but it is a possibility. There are definitely a lot of ragavans. You might want more of these and more lightning bolts, depending on the thing. Bad rock, uh, I think it's just too memey. I would take that out, put in, you know, probably just put in one more of the Furies. Uh, if you got the wild cards. What's a little bit nice about this list is it's a little bit lighter on the wild cards. Elish Norn was actually crazy bonkers good the one time we got it out. Shuts down all the opponent's elementals and all the other, um, you know, ETB trigger stuff. So, Elish Norn, a surprisingly good tech. Uh, I would maybe even consider it for the sideboard, even if you're taking it out. Um, otherwise, what else can I say? I think the mana base probably could use a little bit more lands there was there were definitely blood moons running around people maybe prepared for this type of deck um so uh, just a another island and another planes possibly it's something to consider also just being able to fetch for the uh the lands that don't deal damage to you sometimes seems good against these aggro decks nissa was very good um, though she didn't stick around. 3 mana, 3-3 three, three, dies pretty easily to Lightning Bolt. So that's a bit tough. Of course, Risen Reef dies to a Stiff Breeze, um, which is why the, the, the list I was mainly basing off had four Risen Reefs, so I trimmed it down to two, and I went up on the up the Beanstalks. It didn't have any up the Beanstalks. You could go all in on the Reef, but I think, I think Beanstalk is just better. I think go all in on Beanstalk, maybe trim down to one Risen Reef. And between the Risen Reefs, the One Ring, the Teferis, you know, hard casting, 
an Omnath here and there. You're getting card draw. Um, I'd say the card draw was about right, maybe tiny bit low. Um, just the ability to refill the hand. But of course, you know, if you can get one or two up the beanstalks and then you start dropping um, the five mana elementals, then you're in good shape. So overall, I think the deck performed very well. Um, if you have the wild cards and you liked how the deck performed, I have no hesitation saying craft it. Um, other than Vadrock, <laughs> I think most of your mythic wild cards will be well spent. Um, you could maybe trim down an Omnath if you wanted. And maybe you have a Vadrock already. Just throw that in instead of Omnath. Um, if you're trying to just do it budget style, and you can maybe go a little bit more budget on land or do some different fetch lands, just depending if you if you want to try to stretch your wild cards. I think there are, there are some ways to play this. I know it's it's a money pile deck, okay? But there are ways to play it. You know, if you fudge it here and there. If you're close, you can fudge it a little bit and still get, you know, 99% of the value. And I'm, I'm sure it can be tuned further. So leave your comments down below of your ideas for how to tune it. If you've seen other people playing it, obviously Minsk and Boo is a good one to throw into this deck. Uh, if you've got it, that's a good you know, one to substitute in. Stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Check out some other fun, timeless videos wherever they're linked somewhere on this screen. I've been Manadad reminding you that magic is a game so fun even dads can enjoy. Adios.